morning everyone, or good afternoon because it's currently 12.18 so I'm currently at the Adelaide airport about to board my flight. So I think that was just my boarding call so I'm going to go catch the flight. So it's an hour and 55 minutes to Sydney and then I think I'm either going to catch a train or get picked up at the airport by my cousin Naomi and hopefully the plan is to go out tonight. So I'm going to bring you guys along, I'm probably going to do some editing on the flight and have a few snacks as well so that'll be my lunch. So yeah, I'll update you guys soon. So that is the plan I'm catching just there and I've got to go. Um, like board there, so off I go. Good morning everyone, so I'm currently on my way to the train station. I'm gonna go into the city in Sydney and I'm also going to go to Bondi today. Now I haven't updated the vlog in a couple of days just because I've been, sorry I've got the my thingy on just as I have been settling in and catching up with family and also I did forget my camera yesterday when we went out to this obstacle course but I will include the footage I got from there and I must say it's freaking hard work but I also went to the gym this morning with Naomi's boyfriend Jordan he's such a lovely guy so it's been nice to hang out with him while Naomi's at work so yeah that's my plans for the day I'm gonna bring you along I'm also gonna head to Bondi it's been absolutely horrendous weather here they've gone from the extremes of like the fires to the extremes of having flooding so poor things but we're gonna try and make the most of it it's meant to be thunderstorming all week here so I'm gonna make the most of today while it's just cloudy and it's meant to be still a high of 27 which is crazy so we'll see but yeah I will speak to you guys soon when I know what's happening and I will show you a little bit around Sydney as well bye <laughs> Time check, so it's currently 2 o'clock and I've just arrived in Manly so I decided to catch the train to Circular Quay and then come down to Manly to check it out. I've never been here before so I'm not actually sure what's here. I know it's famous for its beaches but I'm just going to probably go for a walk in the main town and then probably catch the ferry back to Circular Quay because I want to go check out the Opera House and I also want to grab some lunch. The East Betty's Burger is here but I know that I'm going to get that probably during the week so maybe I shouldn't have it unless I can't find anything here. I left my cousin's house at 11 o'clock and I only got into the city at like 1 to 1.30 just because they've had like really bad flooding over here so the trains were delayed which kind of sucks so it's taken me so long to get in here. So just over there is where you get off the ferry and then you just basically walk down this bit here it seems to be the main strip so probably just gonna go for a walk down here check it out and then head back on the ferry so as I'm walking through Manly there seems to be so many nice places that you can stop off for lunch it is a little bit restricting being on keto I did have a look up at something I think it's called or a cafe but their kitchen shuts at three and I went the wrong way so I feel like I probably won't make it in time so might just walk now back to the ferry and catch it back still debating whether I should have Betty's burgers or find something in the city but we shall see I'm really hungry maybe I'll get a snack from Coles or something like that they seem to have them around here so I might go in there and have a look Decided for lunch I'll get salted mixed nuts and some salami and twiggy sticks so I'll probably eat that back on the ferry just to save time. I thought I need to save some time because uh, I know it's going to take so long to get back and I want to do a few things while I'm in the city so I just bought some snacks and I'm going to have it on the ferry but can't complain because I have such a pretty view I'll show you now. So I got a comfy seat inside this is my view right now and it only costs about seven dollars on your opal cart so I totally recommend doing it. I made it to Bondi it's actually super busy even though the weather's not that amazing it's turned out to be slightly warm so people are still swimming so I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you as well. So I just got off the bus and here is the iconic lifeguard tower and then you've got the beach all the way over there the skate park was I think back that way there quite hazy though and icebergs is over in that section over there hello everyone so it is another update so it's now the next day so it's currently Tuesday I could lose track of which day it is because I'm on holiday and there's nothing like consistent where I am but today I'm currently on my way to go and get my hair done so I'm just gonna do it Sorry, just gonna get a freshen up on the blonde and I'm also gonna get it cut as well. So I thought I'd bring the camera. Probably won't vlog in there just because it's kind of awkward. I'm not confident enough yet. So I will film the before and the after as well and I'll probably take some pictures. My hair is like pretty oily, but I was like, what's the point in washing it when I'm gonna get it washed there? So that is my update right now. And then on the way home, I'm probably
probably gonna go pick up Naomi from work. The location is like an hour away where I'm getting my hair done, but they have a special promotion on. So once I get my hair done, I will show you and I will let you know if I recommend them or whatnot. On the phone, they were sounding like a little bit rude, so it'll be interesting to see how they are, fingers crossed they provide good customer service because that's like such a big thing for me I hate when people are rude especially like it's just I don't know it's just I don't like that <sighs> so back for another update but a lot sooner than expected that hairdresser was an absolute joke I'm not sure how you pronounce it properly it's like chessoise and it's in I don't even know how to pronounce it properly, conja, I don't know, but oh my goodness, what an absolute joke, the ladies there were so, like, rude, I must have jinxed myself with the customer service thing, but, give me a second, hello, hey, hey I'm going to put my headphones in so that I can use, like, hands free, give me one second, okay? back with an update sorry I just got a phone call so it's now probably been about half an hour I've just been driving into Parramatta where my cousin works I decided I'm gonna make the most of doing this drive out here and I'm gonna go to the Westfield there I want to get a sample of the cosmetic CC cream but for my tan so I can start trialing it out over the next few days just because I did get one in Adelaide but it was my lighter color so unfortunately I can't really wear that all the time when I've got a tan on so that's what I'm gonna go and do and have a quick shop around also return this skirt that I got from Ali it was a black one I've just been thinking about it because it was quite big and plus I've already you know I'm trying to lose weight so I don't really want to get something that's too big it's for it to get even more so big then I might grab a keto order from Starbucks I nearly forgot what I was about to say um, they have like things on the internet that you can get while you're on keto so I'm gonna do that and treat myself just because I'm so annoyed at those ladies but I don't even know if I told the whole story, but basically they were just like really bad with their customer service, basically blaming it on me that they were running half an hour behind and wouldn't have time to do it. And then they were basically rushing, like as soon as I got in there, I should have known. So probably gonna write them a review saying my experience. I just walked out, I could have said something and I was so tempted to, but I was like, okay, just gonna leave and not even bother with it and they wanted me to come back like a different day and I was thinking as if I'm gonna come back when your attitude sucks and it's an hour away like it's just not gonna happen so not getting my hair done but gonna go and make the most of it at the Westfield it's taken me like an hour to get here as well but I'm super close now so fingers crossed everything goes well here otherwise I'll cry good morning everyone so today is currently Thursday we're just visiting Naomi on her lunch break so everyone's here this is Jordan, Naomi's boyfriend. <laughs> so they're just grabbing lunch. I'm also gonna try Starbucks today and we've gone and done a little bit more shopping. So I got another shirt from Popeye. They have like such a good sale on at the moment. So gonna have a quick squeeze around. I feel like I've spent so much money recently on clothes, but at least I'll have new stuff when I get home. And look who we have. What did you get? Whopper cheese. Nice. What did you get? Is it good? Is it better than Betty's? No, not better than Betty's. <laughs> vanilla ice latte actually tastes really good but I'm slightly concerned that it's not sugar free mm. actually tastes amazing look at you being all shy oh yeah, are you camera shy a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> oh just gonna go into day or Daiso, however you want to say it the boys have had enough of shopping so I won't drag them around too much <laughs> say the parking in Parramatta Westfield is crazy. I've lost the car like twice. <laughs> so I'm actually not retarded because the boys can't find it either. <laughs> it was your job to remember where the car was. Why? It all looks the same. Where are those idiots just, who don't know where it is? <laughs> let's just pick a car and go with that. Perfect. Wait, are you sure it was definitely level five or was it level six? <laughs> Did we go up one because we couldn't find one here? And level six is purple. I think it was yellow. Wasn't it yellow? And I was like, yeah, level six. <laughs> Maybe we'll go up. Just, well, if I wasn't there, I am now. True. Okay, I suggest we go up one level and have a look. You should be going that fast and you need to slam the brakes like that. Come on. I think it just like skidded. 
Really? It just took us 11 minutes to find it. It felt like longer. So, because we couldn't find the car now, we have to pay $5 for parking. Oh, at least it's only five. I thought it was going to be way more. Wait, let's see. Eight dollars. <laughs> Damn it. Could have been worse. When you get the little tickets and you lose them, you have to pay up to like 40 bucks. You're joking. No. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Eight dollars because we lost the car. I consider it a, a waiving fee for um, not being responsible enough to take care of your ticket. <laughs> Literally, that's how they get you. They make the parking difficult so that you can't find it and then you have to pay more money for parking. Yeah, exactly. I've worked it out. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day and we're going out. Left? Oh, we need a map set. Oh, yeah, shit. Not Here's the next shit. problem. Just gonna do a quick little outfit. So I'm wearing this new top from Cook Eye and then a black skirt with a little belt here. I hope it's not gonna be too hot. They did say it's probably gonna be sweaty, so I popped my hair up in a high ponytail and this is my makeup as well. So I'm just gonna go out and play some fear pong games as well. So film a little bit of that. So let's see how the night goes. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so the day is currently Saturday, I'm here with Naomi, so this is my cousin, and we're just driving to the train station because we're going to go to the gardens of Alexandria. Yep, correct. Got it. So we're just going to catch the train there. We um, went out last night, it was so much fun. Um, got it drunk you would have seen a freeze <laughs> yeah but I didn't bring my camera out otherwise I would have probably lost it and damaged it and I would have looked like a complete weirdo as well so the plan for today is just gonna go here have breakfast and then tonight we have like a family dinner and then I'm gonna try and convince everyone to come out again tonight come on uh -uh. I'm only here once I'm gonna do it yeah, come on. <laughs> so I will update you guys soon when something interesting is happening. <laughs> Updates, we've just arrived at the Gardens of Alexandria. I keep looking to Naomi like, is that right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So just got some photos. It's kind of awkward because everyone's sort of taking photos. I feel like I'm going to be in the back of like a million people's. But we're going to go to a nice little brunch spot here. Are you hungry? Let's go. So like when you're walking in, you come down this spot, it's like very popular getting photos. We just got some there for a nice background as well. And they've got like a kissing booth and Naomi might get some flowers after. <laughs> just to catch it back to the station but Naomi got flowers they're so cute they're like cute the flowers they cost her like $20 but they had like the nicest selection of flowers there it was super pretty everyone was getting photos also we got kind of lucky with the weather as well it's just started to sprinkle so fingers crossed when we're walking it's not gonna rain and then you're gonna go for a nap later what am I gonna do I'll get ready for tonight and I'll try and make plans Plan. See what happens. Hello everyone, so it is currently my last day. I don't really know how to feel. It's like a bit bittersweet, but I'm also excited to go home. I've now been away from home for two and a half weeks, so it will be exciting to go and see all of my friends and family and catch up with them. But it's going to be such a shame to leave all my family here behind. I'm like, please move to Perth. But yeah, it's been such a great time hanging out with them over here. I've been out for the past couple of days because I actually came down with tonsillitis. So how amazing that is that on my holiday. But got into it quite quickly, got antibiotics and I'm feeling so much better. Which is so great because I have so much planned for when I get home that I would suck to get sick. The plan for today is to catch up with my auntie and uncle on my dad's side. So we're going to go to the Marsden. It's like a brewery and we're going to go have lunch there and also meet up with my auntie as well. So I'm super excited to see them before I leave. My flight is at 8 p.m tonight so you're probably going to leave my cousin's house at like five o'clock just to make sure that I get there on time 
but probably gonna leave the vlogging camera behind but I might just add in a little clips that I get on my phone of the food and whatnot. Just wanted to quickly update you guys I'm now back in Western Australia which is my hometown so I'm currently back in Perth I just want to jump on and wrap the vlog up and say thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed part three of the vlog make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video bye